This is video number 566, Growth Tree Rings in a Tree. I'm a collector, like some people collect stamps or old coins, other people collect stationery. We all are collectors. What do you daily collect? I collect inspirational, motivational, uplifting stories. So when somebody shares their wisdom with me, I see it as a holy, sacred moment. I cherish it. I use these videos to reflect on my holy, sacred moments. I have a new object of affection in my life. I salute and honor my friends for always being so graceful with all the new hellos I introduce to them. This newest edition is really something special. I know and I, and I know it and they know it too. I have kissed many frogs, hoping that one day I will kiss the frog that will be my prince. This one has the potential and I'm excited like a four-year-old in a candy store. This weekend we went camping in a nature reserve. Early Sunday morning one of my wisest friends said, let's go for a hike. I agreed. We embraced the crispy autumn air in the beautiful surroundings of Dinuken. In beautiful, in between two beautiful mountains, we went hiking. She started telling me this awe-inspiring story. One day, a woodcutter decided that it's time to chop down a beautiful hundred-year-old oak tree in his garden. He had such high hopes for the tree to make a beautiful table with the tree. He savoured this tree as he knew that the wood has exceptional potential. But to his disappointment, the tree had no growth rings in it. Even though it was almost an antique, the tree always grew in optimum circumstances. Apparently, a growth ring inside a tree trunk only forms with loads of character when the tree's roots have to stretch and grow exponentially to reach the water or nutrients. Due to the fact that this specific tree always had a surplus of water, the tree never had to stretch to obtain water. Hence, the wood was almost worthless. The moral of the story is the more we have to stretch, the more our value and worth increase. Each storm, each crisis causes us to develop a deeper level in our character, causes us to develop a new growth ring increasing the value of the wood. Elsa told me the story to say that even though we are currently looking at each other through love goggles, the storms and the differences will surface, but we have to stretch to find the water and nutrients in order for us as a couple to develop a new growth ring. This was so significant for me. The whole moment was a holy sacred moment. As we walked further, we reached the pile of wood that was recently chopped down. It was as if God was giving his stamp of approval on Elsa's story. Solomon wrote in Proverbs that we have to write love and truth on the tables of our heart. This means for me that we have to make truth and love a part of our DNA. I said a silent little prayer, please Lord, let this story also be written on the tables of my heart. Make it part of my DNA so that I can also hold fast to this hope. Just like God said to Paul that his grace is sufficient for his troubles, may ye to give me an abundance of this kind of grace for what is to come. May you to be surrounded with people with an abundance of wisdom for when you are entering new ventures and new journeys in your life. I am so grateful for people like my friend Alza.